It's the end of an era as Germany's nuclear phase-out enters its penultimate phase. Three nuclear power plants will be taken off the grid on December 31st. Symbolically, one of them is the Brockdorf nuclear power plant, which became a target of protest by opposition to nuclear power in the 1980s. At midnight on New Year's Eve, it shut down, much to its overseer's disdain. The last few days have been accompanied by a fair amount of melancholy. We have operated the plant for 35 years. We looked after it, we kept it at the best technical level, and we always operated it safely. No trace of melancholy is felt by Carsten Hinrichsen, a long-time anti-nuclear activist, also known as the Brockdorf rebel. I'm quietly but steadily rejoicing that the thing is now shut down. This is not euphoria. Some people ask me if this is a victory. No, it's not. It's taken far too long for that. In 2011, the then Christian Democrat government under Angela Merkel reversed the decision to extend Germany's usage of nuclear plants after the Fukushima disaster in Japan earlier that year. The eight oldest reactors were shut down immediately, with the remaining nine to follow in stages until 2022. After Brockdorf, five plants still remain. Grond, Emsland, Gundremingen, Isar and Neckarwestheim will go offline by the end of next year, completing the 11-year phase-out. Germany is firmly resisting attempts by the EU Commission to classify nuclear energy as a sustainable technology. It is also fine-tuning the expansion of renewable energies. By 2030, 80% of the country's electricity is to come from wind turbines, solar panels or biogas plants.